Welcome to the Knox Video Training Series. In this video, we'll walk you through how to get started with Knox Mobile Enrollment, KME Direct. You'll learn how to install and configure the software and how to create and upload profiles to your devices. Let's begin. Before you begin, you'll need to get access to samsungnox.com to access and use the KME Direct PC app, prepare your computer to install the KME Direct PC app, and prepare the target devices with Knox 3.7.1 or higher for use with KME Direct. To get started, you'll need to install the KME Direct app, launch the KME Direct app, create your profile, and set up and configure the user devices. To download the KME Direct PC app installer, log into samsungnox.com with your Samsung account credentials. Select Download KME Direct on the Knox Mobile Enrollment card. Then you are redirected to a page where you can download two files, KME Direct Installer in a zip file, Knox Service Plugin APK, which is required for configuring your devices. When you've downloaded both files, unzip the installation file to a chosen location on your computer's local drive. Let's start off with installing the KME Direct app on your computer. Go to the folder where you downloaded the KME Direct installer. Double click the installer to start installation. If prompted, allow security access to the installer. When prompted, click Next to continue. Review and accept the terms of the license agreement. Click Next to continue. The next step is to set up a passcode. You need this passcode to access the KME Direct PC app. When prompted, click Next to continue. Now, copy and save your individual recovery key. If you forget the passcode to access the KME Direct PC app, you can use this individual recovery key to access the KME Direct PC application. After you've saved your key, click Next. The next step is to choose where you want to install the app on your computer. When you're ready, click Next. The installer now installs the app to your computer. When installation is complete, click Launch. When running the PC app for the first time, the setup process may show the initial splash screen. When prompted, enter your passcode and click OK. Now let's create your first profile. Click Create Profile to proceed. A pop-up window will be shown in which you can choose which version of Knox will be used. Your options are 3.7.1 and 3.8 or higher. Remember to choose the appropriate version for your devices. Currently, IT admins can use KME Direct to create two types of profiles. Device configuration profiles, which contain options for customizing device settings such as display, sounds, key mapping, and other general settings. And device deployment profiles, which contain basic information such as network connectivity settings and provisioning apps. It is used to generate a QR code which automatically connects your devices to a network and directs them to your MDM. Let's start with setting up a device configuration profile. On this screen, click Device Configuration Profile. A Profile Details screen opens. In the Profile Name field, enter an appropriate value. We recommend using a name that signifies the purpose of the profile, such as Display Settings Health or Sound Profile IT. Click Continue to move to the next setting. The Display Configuration screen opens. Here, you can configure Screen Timeout, Brightness, Font Size, and Touch Sensitivity settings. When you're ready, click Continue. Next, on the Key Configuration screen that opens, you can configure the navigation bar, long tap on home key, X cover key, and top key settings. In case of rugged devices, for example, you can configure the X cover key with given options, Microsoft Teams, custom intent, or app launch. When you're ready, click continue. On the general configuration screen, you can configure NFC, Wi-Fi block list, sound, and system language and country settings. 
In case of a profile for schools, when studying in the classroom, it can be used to allow selective control over the device volume. When you're ready, click Continue. The summary screen that opens lets you confirm the settings you have just set and generate an XML file that you can share with device users. Review the information on this screen, and if it looks good, click Generate XML. The XML file is now generated and saved to your local drive. When prompted, add a name for the XML that reflects the purpose of your profile. Now, you can upload this file to the relay server from where target devices can download it. Once downloaded, this file enables the KSP agent to apply applicable settings to the device. Now, let's create a device deployment profile. Click Create Profile. When prompted, click Continue after selecting the proper Knox version. Then, click Device Deployment Profile. On the Profile Details screen that opens, enter the following information. Profile name, organization, and description. When you're ready, click Continue. Next, on the Wi-Fi Network Connection screen that opens, configure as follows. SSID name, Wi-Fi MAC address randomization, proxy, and security information. When you're ready, click Continue. In cases where the location, organization, or other properties of the target device require a custom privacy policy, end user license agreement, or terms of service, IT admins can use the screen to specify the legal agreements to use. To add custom legal agreements, enter the title and legal agreement. When you're ready, click Continue. Next, on the Android Enterprise Enrollment screen, select your Enterprise Mobility Management Provider. The next fields will automatically populate. If applicable, add other data such as EMM Server URI, Custom JSON Data, and Root Intermediate Certificate. When you're ready, click Continue. Now, on the Additional Deployments Options screen, configure the following settings. Device Configuration, and additional applications. In the local server URI for a device configuration profile field, enter your XML address. This is the location on your relay server where you've created and saved the device configuration profile. This is from where target devices can download the XML file. This URI can start with HTTP colon double slash or HTTPS colon double slash. Enter your Knox Service Plugin APK file address to download it to target devices. For package name and signing key, use these fields to indicate your package name, such as com.samsung.android.knox.kpu and the associated signing key. When you're ready, click Continue. On the summary screen, confirm the settings you've just set and then click Generate QR Code. The QR code is generated and saved to your local drive. You can then share this QR code with the users of the target devices, who in turn use the QR code to set up their devices. When prompted, save the QR code in PDF format to a desired location on your computer. Remember to name it properly. You have now successfully created both types of profiles. All profiles that you create using the KME Direct PC app are listed on the profile screen. From this screen, you can also manage existing profiles, including modifying or deleting them. This step concludes the setup activities that IT admins need to perform before end users can configure their devices. When end users receive their devices from the reseller or IT admins, they can complete enrolling their devices followers. Turn on or boot the device. On the Let's Go screen, select the desired language and then draw a large plus pattern on the device screen to continue. On the Knox deployment screen, tap QR code. The QR code reader app opens. Use the camera to scan the QR code that was generated by a KME Direct. Depending upon the profile associated with a QR code, an automatic process begins. This process installs the appropriate apps and applies the correct device configuration settings. 
Device users are prompted periodically to enter or confirm items such as screen lock type, device passcode, or other details. Follow on-screen instructions to complete setup and activate the device. This concludes our demo on getting started with KME Direct. Now you can add thousands of devices to your enterprise at once, simply out of the box. For more information on KME Direct or on getting started with other Knox services, visit docs.samsungnox.com. Thanks for watching.